What is going on people and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Now unfortunately, like some of you guys may or may not know, I've been self-isolating inside my house because I tested positive six days ago for COVID-19. Now my symptoms haven't been that bad, but they've been bad enough that I haven't been able to sit down in front of a camera and I haven't been able to make a video. And also my general content that I normally post where I'm outdoors exploring abandoned buildings and like searching for what's going on, I haven't been able to leave the house. I haven't been able to make that content. So today, yet again, I am bringing you another true crime video. Now, the last true crime video that I posted on my channel, it, it didn't do great. I didn't expect it to do great, but I didn't really have a choice. I was stuck indoors. So I tried something different, something that I actually really enjoyed making, and something that the people that did watch gave me incredible feedback down below. Everyone that watched the video and left a comment on last week's video, I just want to say thank you. You gave me a bit of positivity, a bit of motivation, and a little bit of hope towards making another video on on true crime. And I enjoyed it that much that I'd really like to start making more true crime videos on this channel. If you could just drop a like on this video as soon as possible, like right now, that would mean literally the world. I want to see if we can get 1,500 likes on this video. If we get 1,500 likes on this video, I will continue to post true crime video. And I really want to do some unsolved mysteries where I solve them for you guys, like I mentioned last week. So let me know in the comment section below what you thought of this video and also what kind of true crime videos you want me to either report port on or sold. Now I'm finally feeling better and I've still got a couple more days of isolation before I can go outside and make any content. Now I've greeted you guys, now I've said hello, let's get into today's story. Kaylee Jade Priest was born on the 31st of January 2017. Kaylee's mum, Nicola Priest, had got pregnant with Kaylee at just 19 years old. And after searching the web high and low, I could not find any information whatsoever on Kaylee's father. So as far as I'm aware, she must have given birth to Kaylee as a single mother. Now, as a lot of mature adults know, giving birth to a child and being a single parent is a lot more challenging than obviously being backed up by a, a couple a partnership. It's always going to be more challenging, but it gives no excuse whatsoever for the events that later took place. So on the 8th of August 2020, Hayley, who was now three and a half, and mum Nicola, who was now 23, had decided to take a trip down to the park in Kingshurst, which is based in the north of the UK. Now we know this because there has been CCTV shown on the internet of the pair of them leaving their flat. Now unfortunately, this was the last time that Kaylee Jade Priest would see the outside world. First of all, while watching the CCTV footage, there are a couple of things that I really feel that stand out. The first thing that kind of stands out is the way that Nicola acts. Now, other than the fact that it was told that Nicola was constantly on social media, uploading Instagram posts, posting TikToks, doing anything she can to try and get known, to try and get famous, just posting things on social media 24-7, she seems like a very vain individual. Constantly checking herself out in the mirror, looking at herself on her phone, checking her reflection. And this is also seen in the elevator. As she walks in with her daughter, she's playing with her hair in the mirror, not taking any notice of Kaylee whatsoever. She has a cigarette hanging out of her mouth. She's just bothered about herself. Now we all do this to a certain extent. I look at myself in the mirror, make sure I look all right. I post things on social media. But when you have a child, it's not something that you can do all the time. That child needs a part of your attention. Another thing that stands out is the body language of Nicola. She just seems like she doesn't want to be there. She doesn't want to be around her daughter. She doesn't want to be going down to the park. She's had enough. She's just bored. She seems frustrated and doesn't even even seem to acknowledge her own daughter. And finally, something that stands out is the lack of care. She's not interested in holding her daughter's hand, which is to protect her, to look after her, to help her. And as we all know, children can get very distracted very easily. And in today's society, it doesn't take a blink of the eye for someone to walk past and pick her up and run away. And there's nothing Nicola can do. All of these things I've mentioned show a complete sign of neglect. And she just doesn't seem to be taking any notice whatsoever of her daughter, Kaylee. Now, as I said before, for everyone likes to look in the mirror to a certain extent, but it got to the point where Nicola wouldn't even turn around to check that her daughter was still with her. Now after the incident happened that we will cover in a moment, medical professionals later analysed Kaylee's body. They could tell that she had been subjected to months of abuse. And police later also came out to say that there was clear bruising 
and also untreated bone fractures that had occurred on Kaylee's body, which suggests all the things that we just discussed regarding emotional abuse, it had also been physical abuse, including Kaylee being found to have two broken ribs and a broken sternum. The fact that Nicola had been aware of all of these issues and not helped her daughter seek medical attention shows one of the worst lack of care situations from mother to child. Now later on, after spending about an hour at the park, Nicola and Kaylee decide to return home. And it's been told Nicola's boyfriend at the time, Callum Redfern, aged 22, went over to the flat to visit Nicola. At first, everything seemed fine. Nicola was being vain as usual, sending selfies to her friends for approval before posting them online, and Callum was watching TV. But around 7pm is where things then took a turn for the worst. Callum and Nicola decided to put Kaylee to bed and then went into Nicola's bedroom to spend some time together and have sex. Whilst the pair of them were having sex together, Kaylee started to cry, which set the pair of them into a rage. Instead of going next door to see if Kaylee was okay and check on her and help her get back to bed, they both went next door and beat her to death. The injuries that Kaylee received were described later on as if she had been in a road traffic accident. Now, hours then went by. Nicola, Callum, they did nothing. And the morning of the next day, being the 9th of August 2020, Nicola made a call to emergency services. It has also later been said that Kaylee's life could potentially have been saved if Nicola had called the emergency services straight away and not left it till the next morning. But the pair of them obviously didn't have a decent bone in their body and they decided to leave Kaylee lying there on the bed to suffer and die. When the police arrived, they described the scene as something that they had never seen before. It was also very clear to the police that Kaylee had been kicked, punched, and even stamped on multiple times. She had also started vomiting whilst she was taking the beating. Kaylee also suffered with brain damage, but the cause of her death had been down to severe abdominal and chest injuries. Nicola was then arrested and treated as a suspect because she couldn't explain what had happened to her daughter. Police then let her go. They either let her go on bail or a lack of evidence, and then a couple of TikToks were then made. The first TikTok with the caption, rest in peace my baby, 10 days later on the 17th, she can be seen lip syncing and crying to the song To My Parents. Now this is more than likely a cry for help to her parents, for her basically saying that she should have been a better mother. Four days later, another tribute was posted with the caption, I love you so much darling, mummy will never forget you ever, rest in peace angel. But then only one day later, the TikTok obsessor would then post a video of her dancing. And then one more day later, she would post another TikTok video with the caption, Love my makeup purchase, everything goes perfect. That was the last TikTok posted, so we can only assume that the police had finally finished their investigation and Nicola and her boyfriend were charged with Kaylee's murder. The police had all the evidence to prove that both were in the flat at the time of the murder, but still, to this day, we are unsure who did what and both were held accountable. Both of them denied the murder charge, the lesser charge of manslaughter, allowing the death of a child and child cruelty. So a trial was held at Birmingham Crown Court in June 2021. Ultimately, both of them tried to pin it on one another. Nicola gave evidence saying that she had seen Callum hit Kaylee after she had bitten his hand, but no bite mark was found. Callum never gave evidence in court, but tried to pin it on Nicola in police interviews. But witness statements would show how Nicola had treated her daughter. Nicola's babysitter would also give evidence, saying on a couple of occasions Nicola would slap Kaylee round the head in rage. One time was because she asked for some food. The testimony from her ex-boyfriend's mother, when Nicola used to live with her, said she would call Kaylee a rat and a bitch. But as time went on, she would give her the odd smack 
on the legs and the arms. The court was also told on how Kaylee's room was not in suitable living conditions for a child. The mattress was dirty and there was no carpet. And there was also no bulb in the light above for the light to work. Now even though the court prosecution could not pinpoint what individual was to blame, previous text messages would prove that they are just both as guilty as each other. In the conversation on text on the 24th of July 2020, Nicola would go on to say, I'm going to kill her because she keeps leaving the living room or going into the kitchen so I've hit her and smacked her for shitting in her nappy. Callum responded, good. Give her one from me. Nicola responded, I will, babe. Three days later, Callum messaged Nicola saying, I'm going to keep that little brat away from me. Sick of your spunking daughter. After the trial, both were cleared of murder, but were found guilty of the lesser charge of manslaughter. Nicola was also found guilty of child neglect regarding Kaylee's past injuries and for these crimes Nicola was handed a 15 year jail sentence and Callum was handed a 14 year jail sentence. The one person that Kaylee needed to protect her was the one that she needed protecting from. Even Nicola's own mother had contacted social services but it is unclear if any action had ever been taken. Nicola's mother also gave evidence in court against her own daughter so she could see justice for her granddaughter Kaylee. It actually makes me so angry listening to this story. I'm going to be coming a father soon myself. Why would a mother actually do this to her own daughter? Why would a mother abuse and go on to kill her own daughter after carrying her for nine months? It just doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. But it is very clear that she wanted to put a man first. It is also told that Nicola saved £900 of her benefits money to buy Callum a car. Instead Instead of providing for her own daughter when she needed a clean mattress or a light bulb. Callum even pocketed £300 of that money because the car only cost £600. Personally, I feel like they should have both been given life in prison. The sentence that they received was just too gentle. One thing that gives a criminal a shorter sentence is cooperation and showing remorse for their crimes. But from what I can see, neither of them have shown any regret whatsoever. And in a police interview, Callum was asked how the death of Kaylee had affected him. He replied, and I quote, It's not my child, it hasn't affected me. Oh, ah. It is very clear Nicola did not deserve to have a child, especially not Kaylee, her daughter. She has now got 15 years and I hope she has a long hard think about what she has done. Anyways, that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching and listening with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you did enjoy the video, it was a really, really dark story, I know, but this is something that you guys said you wanted me to report on and to cover. So make sure to hit the big thumbs up button right now. YouTube have removed the dislike button. Like, why? I, I feel like, yes, dislikes are always shit, but it's very important to have the dislike button because if you don't have the dislike button, then you don't know if people are enjoying the video or not. So um, you can only really like the video now, so <laughs> drop a like, I suppose. If there's anything I missed in this video, I do apologise. Obviously, there's a limited amount of time I can spend on each case, but I did spend about six, seven hours doing as much research as I possibly can. So hopefully, everything that I needed to say is in this video, and it is as informative as possible. If there's any true crime cases, there is so many out there that you want me to cover on, then please let me know in the comments section below. Write them out. I would love to do the Madeleine McCann case. That is definitely something I'm going to work on but I know that's going to be more than a one time video it's a couple of parts and it's going to take a very long time to look into so bear with me on that one but if there's any other cases whatsoever that you want to see me report on let me know in the comments section below also I'd really like to know your opinions on this case I'm hoping there's no one as sick as Nicola and Callum out there that are going to say oh this is a good thing because it's just this is just one of the most sad stories I have actually heard killing and abusing your own own daughter like uh, yeah okay we'll leave my opinion for maybe another time anyways thank you so much for watching I'll see you next week for another video thanks for watching and yeah peace